So, front-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive, which one is better? Well, it's not that simple, unfortunately, each one has its pros and its cons. These days, most manufacturers produce mostly front-wheel drive cars. Most cars you see on a day-to-day -day basis will be front-wheel drive. Now, what if you don't know what front-wheel drive means? Well, let me explain. The engine powers the front wheels directly, where with rear-wheel drive cars you will have a drive shaft that goes to a diff in the rear of the car, which in turn will turn the rear wheels. So summed up, the one turns the front wheels and the other one turns the rear wheels. Yeah. Now, since most companies mainly produce front-wheel drive cars, let's talk about that first. Why is this the preferred option by most companies? Okay, so firstly, if the engine and drivetrain is all up front, it means that there is more space throughout the car. You will have more legroom and a larger capacity boot. And remember, when your average person buys a car, this is important. Next benefit of front-wheel drive cars is that all the weight is on top of the wheels, which means in wet weather conditions the car will be more stable and have better traction. It's also safer since rear-wheel drive cars tend to lose the rear if you break traction and don't know how to counter it. Front-wheel drive cars are also more economical. Why? Well, a front-wheel drive setup has less components, which means it's lighter than fitting a car with a rear-wheel drive drivetrain. And the lighter the car is, the less the engine has to work in order to propel it. But it's not all good. Like I previously said, there's pros and cons on both. So the cons of a front-wheel drive car is that it's not rear-wheel drive. <laughs> okay, now I'm joking. Let's get serious. The actual cons. Front-wheel drive cars, especially the ones with a bit of power, may have a thing called torque steer. Now, newer cars don't have it as bad. What basically happens is, under hard acceleration, the car can start to go in its own direction and you as driver will have to keep it going in a straight line. Now some people might call this dangerous, other people call it fun. It's a cool experience, okay? It's like you're driving and the car just like and then you've got to keep it straight while it doesn't want to go straight. Yeah. Anyways, another characteristic that front-wheel drive cars have that can be a little dangerous is a thing called understeering. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this, so I've, I'm going to let my colleague explain. Scientific Chris, we, we're going to UA. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so I'm the smart one of the two of us. This is my white coat. It's just dirty. So if it looks a bit gray, it's, it's just dirty. It is a white scientist coat. You might think it's just a normal, like, fancy jacket thing, but it's not, okay? I, 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 it's just need, it needs a wash. But anyways, let's not digress. We're going to talk about oversteer and how it works. So let's say this is your road, okay? This is your kariki. This is your car here. Yeah? Now you're going to drive. Now what happens when your car oversteers is even though you are turning the wheel to go this way, when the power gets down, the wheels lose traction and you go into the trees. And if you thought that wasn't trees, you need to clean your brain. These are trees. I'm just not a very good artist. So what happens with oversteer? Your car goes and as soon as you hit the corner and you turn the wheel to go this way, it loses traction and instead of turning, you're going to go straight. Even though you turn your wheel, your car's going to go that way. And then you die. Back to you, normal Chris. Thanks, Chris. That was a very good explanation. I'm sure everybody here knows exactly what understeering means now. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next problem. Towing. So, you know when I said a great positive of front-wheel drive cars is the fact the weight is on the wheels that power the car. Well, when you tow, you put a whole bunch of weight on the other wheels, which then lifts the weight off the front wheels and shifts it to the back. Now I don't think I have to explain this too much. Basically you can't tow heavy shit in a front wheel drive vehicle. Let's move on. And then lastly, front wheel drive cars are slower at accelerating than rear wheel drive cars. They struggle putting the traction down. Now you might say, well didn't you just say they've got more traction? I did. Scientific Chris is going to explain again. Okay, back to you. Okay, so now we're going to talk about why a rear-wheel drive car will have more grip, yet have less grip. It doesn't make sense, but I'm going to explain. Okay, so when you drive normally, um, the rear end on a rear-wheel drive car can get loose easily, because when it loses traction, it can literally spin out. So this is going to be our prop car, and let's say you go around the corner and it's wet, you can spin out, boom, bam, you might die. But the reason it's better in a straight is because of a thing called weight transfer. So when you accelerate, now, let's put the car here. When you accelerate, the back end of the car is going to dip down. Now, this is why I got this car, because we've got shocks. 
Now, as you go, it's the all the weight's gonna shift to the back and it's gonna lay the weight on the rear wheels, thus moving the most grip to the rear. So you're gonna accelerate nice and fast. With the front wheel drive car, you're still gonna have the weight being transferred to the rear as you accelerate away from the line. But now remember, these are the wheels that are getting the power, which means as the weight is being shifted to the rear, you are losing grip in the front. So in other words, all the power goes here, all the grip goes here, and this just ends up spinning. Not good for acceleration, very bad for speed. Yeah, back to you, normal Chris. I'm really enjoying myself in this video. I feel a little crazy because I'm like talking to myself, but I've, I'm enjoying myself. Okay, so on to the right choice and the one everybody should make, rear wheel drive. So if you have a fast car, rear wheel drive is just better. It's better for accelerating, it's way more fun in the corners. Yes, you might experience oversteer, but in my professional opinion, it's better for a sporty fast car. So let's go into a speed round of positives with rear wheel drive cars. You can tow heavy shit, you can do sick drifts, you can accelerate faster, you can look cool at the racetrack and do burnouts and stuff and like when you warm up your tires you'll look cooler than somebody that's putting the front wheels. Yeah. And then lastly, most of the drivetrain is much easier to work on and to maintain since there's space. With the front wheel drive car, everything is stuck in a very tiny spot. So if you actually have to work on the car to get to any of the parts that is broken, you, you struggle. Where with the rear wheel drive car, it's like there's big space in between. So it's much easier to work on individual parts, if that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so on to the cons of rear wheel drive cars. A rear wheel drive car may be more fun to drive, but it also makes it more difficult to master. But with modern stability and traction controls, however, the car is babysitting you, so you should be fine. Now I have to say, if you are a suckish driver, don't switch these things off. Okay, and then the, there's the more negatives, but they are basically the positives of the front wheel drive cars or the negatives of the rear wheel drive cars. So you've got less space and it's more dangerous and crappy weather conditions and um, let's not repeat ourselves. We know the bad, we know the good now. Which one is more better for you? That's not a very good sentence, is it? Um, which one is the correct choice for you? Yeah, I think that's a better sentence. I am smart, I promise. I'm a very intellectual person. Okay, now in order to know which one is better for you, you're going to have to answer this question. So you're going you're gonna to either be an A, a B, or a C. So you're going to answer, and then I'll tell you which one is the correct choice for you. So which one suits you better? A. I love driving and I would sacrifice a little practicality for fun. B. I tow shit. And C. A car is just a way of getting from point A to point B. If your answer was C, then front wheel drive. Okay? If your answer was A or B, rear wheel drive is the one for you. It just depends on the car. Like if you like to tow shit, don't buy a fast rear wheel drive car. Buy like a truck or something with torque. Don't buy like a freaking 911 Porsche that's rear wheel drive and think I'm gonna tow a trailer with my Porsche because it's rear wheel drive, it's not gonna work. Guys, okay, that's a crap idea. Okay, so this was the video. If you found it informative and you think you know a bit more about front wheel and rear wheel drive drivetrains, leave it a like and subscribe. If you think it's a stupid ass video, leave it a dislike. I'm not even gonna see it because YouTube disabled it, so I don't really care. So do whatever you want. Leave a comment. I'll check you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed it, I've got more videos, okay? Go check the other ones. You'll like them. Yeah. Bye.